Calculating Percentage Decrease, a Slice of English Math. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to tackle an interesting topic from our Numbers and Counting section. We're diving into the world of percentages, focusing on calculating percentage decrease. Now, if you're thinking, why do I need to learn this in English? Well, percentages are used everywhere, from shopping discounts to analyzing data in English-speaking environments. So, let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about what a percentage is. A percentage is a number or ratio that represents a fraction of 100. It is often denoted using the percent sign, percent. For instance, 50% means 50 out of 100, or half. Understanding this concept is crucial as we move forward with calculating percentage decrease. Next, let's define percentage decrease. A percentage decrease is a measure of how much a quantity has gone down in comparison to the original amount. It's a decrease expressed as a percentage of the starting number. This is often used to compare changes in values over time. Now, let's learn how to calculate a percentage decrease. The formula is quite simple. Percentage decrease equals original number, new number, original number, asterisk 100. The steps are as follows. 1. Subtract the new number from the original number. 2. Divide this result by the original number. 3. Finally, multiply the answer by 100 to get the percentage decrease. Let's put this into practice with an example. Say, a shopkeeper originally sold apples for $10 each. He then decided to lower the price to $8. How much was the percentage decrease? Here's how we would calculate this. 1. Subtract the new price from the original price. So, $10 minus $8 equals $2. 2. Divide this by the original price. So, $2 per $10 equals 0.2. 3. Multiply by 100. So, 0.2 times 100 equals 20%. So, the price of the apples has decreased by 20%. And that's how we calculate a percentage decrease. I hope this video was helpful in your journey to mastering English language, and specifically, how we talk about percentages and changes in quantities. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't forget to try out a few examples on your own. See you in the next video.